Today, I'll introduce you to a new tool that I developed uh, to query Oracle uh, Cloud Applications uh, database. Um, as you all know, uh, if you're uh, working in uh, Oracle uh, SaaS applications, the biggest uh, uh, problem that a developer faces is um, lack of a tool um, that that you can use to query the underlying uh, data. Uh, this is primarily problematic when you want to debug uh, the data issues uh, in the system, or you want to build uh, reports uh, where you want to look at the schema and the data. It would always be challenging to create a dummy data model every time you want to explore or uh, uh, work on uh, the data elements. So um, in order to give, uh, uh, in order to have a way to uh, get this data out of the database in uh, uh, a user-friendly format, like, like how we write select queries, like SQL queries in SQL Developer, um, we basically need a tool to do that. And there are a couple of tools out there in the market, but they are not free and uh, um, not everybody can afford those tools. Uh, so what I did is um, I is to create a uh, small uh, wrapper around the JDBC functionality so that you can use this uh, uh, generated or uh, jar file to query the database in your favorite uh, uh, SQL query tool. SQL Developer uh, does not support the custom jars except the ones that uh, it already has. So it's we, we couldn't get this working on SQL Developer, but there are tools out there in the market that you can use to uh, to add this. Uh, uh, functionality. So uh, let's uh, look at uh, a small demo, and uh, um, before that, we'll uh, need to find out. I'll explain how to uh, download the artifacts required for this particular feature and uh, how to install them. So there are two components to this uh, tool. Um, uh, the first one is like go to GitHub.com, and the link that I have. Uh, given in the uh, in this video description. So go to the GitHub uh, link, and then the first thing that you need to do is download the zip file here. So let me download the zip file. And uh, once you have uh, the zip file, um, uh, double click or uh, unzip the uh, one, the, the zip file, the downloaded zip file, and uh, you will see two folders in it. One is the jar file, OFH SQL driver jar file, and then there is another folder called Oracle BI catalog. So the next step is go to your uh, uh, Oracle BI uh, instance and uh, upload or unarchive the file that uh, that is being downloaded to custom folder. So the way that you can do is go to uh, the Oracle BI Publisher catalog and uh, click on uh, uh, custom. Let me refresh this. <clears throat> So go to your shared folders and then go to custom. And uh, here, um, what you uh, have to do is click on uh, the upload. And uh, in the choose file uh, section, you have to choose uh, the one that uh, uh, that we downloaded, Oracle BI. So click on the catalog and uh, click open and then uh, click on Upload button. So once you do that, this will uh, create a folder called uh, 
Oracle SQL Cloud, uh, Oracle Cloud SQL query and uh, um, open this and you will see one data model uh, and one report. You don't need to worry about the report. Uh, what you have to do is go to your uh, uh, data model and make sure that the source is the one that you always use uh, for uh, your particular instance. Go to the properties and you will see the default data source. Uh, so use the one that uh, uh, that you would ideally use to query the data. This is essentially uh, the database that you are trying to query uh, in the next steps. Once you are done with it, uh, click on save uh, and then you are uh, ready to uh, go ahead with uh, the next steps. So the next step is download and uh, install DB Visualizer. DB Visualizer is just another SQL query tool uh, that is open to the uh, the public and uh, it uh, has functionality to install custom jars. So you can download the uh, DB Visualizer. There are like Windows version uh, and then there are like Mac OS. So you can install whatever that uh, uh, that you need and once you are inside the DB visualizer I mean once you have installed it uh, just open uh, DB visualizer And once you are inside the DB Visualizer, click on uh, the tools and then uh, driver manager. This will open up a screen like this. So uh, click on uh, the plus button here and uh, select the custom, uh, double click on custom. Then uh, in the name, uh, just type uh, whatever you want to, uh, for us demo uh, Oracle ERP, uh, test server and then in the URL format uh, instead of change uh, I mean you would need to put OFH and then uh, you don't need all this just put the server here and uh, click on plus button here add uh, files go to the downloads release artifacts uh, open this folder and then select this folder OFH SQL driver and click OK so that would uh, uh, show you the jar files that are uh, available. And uh, um, uh, there is no save button here. This is just done. Just remember demo Oracle ERP test is the one that we used. Now uh, go to the databases part of it uh, here and then click on the plus button. Uh, select uh, the one that you uh, just created, which is um demo so demo oracle erp test click on this one and they, this would open up uh, the connection details so here uh, add your uh, 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 server details uh, and then your username and then the password for it and then remove auto commit because it doesn't it anyways doesn't commit anything so click on uh, connect here so uh, this would display a connection message which is something that we do not display it now uh, this is something that we will work on uh, but when you see no error so then that means that the connection is successful then uh, you can go to, you can just open SQL commander and then new SQL commander or uh, command T or control T that will open up uh, the connection. 
So select uh, uh, the database connection that you have just uh, uh, created, which is demo Oracle ERP, and then uh, run this uh, SQL command or any command, I mean, any query that you uh, want to run. And uh, this would display the uh, query results. Uh, make sure that you uh, do not uh, query large amounts of data because this is still in beta and we have not tested with large number of uh, uh, records. And it, 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 this tool should be used only to um, debug a couple of things like uh, what happened to my invoice or what happened to my payment and all those things, but do not query it to pull large amounts of data. Uh, that is something that you want to do it in a different way. And uh, uh, there will be, there are limitations to this tool, which we will be working on as part of our enhancements, but uh, um, this will be a simple tool that you can use to query the data in the way that we are all used to, like writing SQL queries uh, in a SQL developer tool and get those results in a table format uh, without going through all uh, uh, all the hassles. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.